Hello. So this is slightly different from normal. Normally we see me yeah, normally you would see me doing work on this project, which I'll show again probably a month. But this is my final for my AutoCAD class that I've been working on this week. I finished the blueprints a while ago, but I wanted to make it in Second Life because I like to actually visualize stuff and I can feel the layout better in Second Life. Which um, you'll notice compared to this, some of the stuff inside has changed, but not very much. So, ignore the outside. I'm not finished it with, with the words are hard. I'm not finished with the outside, but whatever. I've taken a big departure from my usual color schemes, which I'm glad for. I'm kind of putting myself out of my comfort zone. The assignment was to convert a apparently like one car garage detached into a cabin. We couldn't move the openings. We couldn't make new openings. We had to work with the openings we had. So either they stayed open or you could shrink them a little bit or we close them off. Um, we needed a bathroom on the west wall. We... Let me give you something to look at while I talk. We... What am I talking about? We needed at least 20 feet, 20 square feet of counter space for a kitchen. It needed to include a fridge, a double sink, and I think it needed the stove, I'm not sure. And it also needed a living area. There were extra points that you could fit a sleeping area in, which I think I kind of, sort of did. Um, yeah. I don't like the current... I don't like where I have it left off right now. I can do more, but I'll keep working on it after the project is due, which is today, because, yeah. Um, I would prefer to have, like, some decking outside this hair, this house, or not house, cabin, whatever. Because right now, it's just set to have a landing pad, what would you call that? A patio at each doorway. Oh, I haven't slept very much the past week, so please excuse me for stuttering constantly. I haven't been able to get to sleep. Okay, so. This is the main entrance of the cabin thingy. Very open. It's a very small cabin. In fact, let me read off the measurements of the inside real quick. The inside of the cabin is 31 feet by 12 foot 4 inches. That's all I had to work with. Could not expand it at all. So yes. We are in the sleep, or sorry, the living area slash eating kitchen slash bedroom. So I have this couch in real life, of course a different color. It is a sleeper sectional. The back folds out and then you push the ottoman into that section and it becomes an actual queen size bed. This part right here and the ottoman itself are both storage, and I'll show you above. As you can see, storage, storage. They fold back, so if you want you can sleep on it, that's my little cat and dog. So I think I solved the bedroom thing. I also needed, a, needed closets if it was going to have a bedroom, so I put two very small closets in there. They're about two feet by two feet with, with maybe a few inches more. I think like two foot two from one angle. Um, yeah, so I think I met the requirements for living space and bedroom. The TV would telescope out, so normally it'd be flat against the wall, but you could pull it and angle it so you could comfortably seat and watch. There is an air conditioning unit, which can provide heat or cooling. And normally, blah, blah, blah. My camera's all fucking it would have this on the outside. Ignore that, it's just to make the thing here. Okay, I'm rambling a lot, but yeah, like I said, I haven't slept. <laughs> so my main color scheme I went with was a, um, I guess it would be a turquoise or, yeah, turquoise and uh, copper with some browns and grays instead of my usual, like, very soft blues, purples and greens. I still kept some of the blues, of course, because I just love blues, but yeah. We have a navy and black. Some of the um, hardware in the house is black, but most of the hardware is copper. There is no closet for hanging stuff, so I put a shoe rack bench, uh, catch-all sort of thing, so you can put your coats up there, anything else for display up there. 
We've got a console table here just to take up space and put some decor on. The kitchen is my favorite part. It's very, very small. Um, let me see what I put for the kitchen. The kitchen is 12 foot 4 inches by 10 foot 3 inches and 13 sixteenths of an inch. It's very small, but it's completely functional. Everything that you would need in the kitchen is here. You've got a very large pantry, two feet deep. You've got a full-size fridge, upper cabinets above the fridge and pantry. Do, do, do. Plenty of cabinetry up top. Open shelving. These are cement with a uh, copper tubing, and I did some little cute pot lights. And I, I really like what I did with this. I'm probably going to do this again in some other project. Um, yes, as you can see, I went for a very different color scheme than what I'm used to, and I think it worked out very well. It's kind of like the, uh, not to be a nerd, but the stream of League of, Le of, League of Legends colors, where you have, um, gold, this teal color, and a reddish purple. Probably, I probably should have put reddish, uh, words. I probably should have put a reddish purple somewhere. Oh yeah, um, so, this is the bar height area, of course, because it's eating. Okay. So yeah, that is the kitchen. Double sink. It's got these little grooves in it. Um, I saw this on some home. Oh my god, I need to sleep. <laughs> some home uh, and garden video. You could put like a cutting board or something like on the on those grooves, and you're actually cutting on the kitchen sink, and then kind of just sloughing everything into the sink when you're done instead of going on the counter and having a mess to clean up, which is nice. Uh, I found some really nice... These are actually floor panels, but since you can resize stuff in Second Life, uh, I just kind of resized them down to look like tile. So we've got some gray tile and some uh, orange brown tile. It's not quite copper. It's uh, supposed to, It was originally supposed to be wood, but it's kind of made it into another orange brown tile. So it's the accent color for the kitchen and other parts of the house. Copper range hood. I probably should have gone for like a custom range to make it fit better, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna work with that. Okie doke. A little bit of uh, another console table, some decor to break up the monotony. This is the west entrance that we had to keep. So yeah, I wasn't gonna use it as living space, I just kind of have it as very small empty space with a little, little bit of decor. You could use it for storage, you probably put a seat here or whatever, but yeah. And this is the bathroom, another one of my favorite rooms. It's a very small, um, it measures at 6 foot 3 inches and 7 eighths by 8 foot 10 inches and a half. So yeah. Oh yeah, in the kitchen, well, wow, we're just so hard to right now. We've got a floating vanity with towel storage here. I would have preferred this, uh, the faucet come straight up through the vanity instead of through the wall because I have the walls designated as four inches, meaning there's no plumbing in that wall, so I would need better fixtures, or a different vanities. Wow. A different set of fixtures that goes up through the vanity. Yeah. Anyway. Um, since there's a very limited storage in the house, I decided to put a, um, what would you call these things above the toilet closetry <laughs> for storing things like uh, toilet paper and other bathroom stuff. Put your towels here, toilet paper here. Very, very, very nicely sized shower for this house or cabin. Rainfall shower head, waterfall shower head, shower shower head. <laughs> the controls spot for soaps. Very large spot for soaps. I'm not going to add a room ever for that. So yeah, that is the AutoCAD final project. From blueprint to sort of making. I really, I really enjoyed doing this project. It was a good challenge. Very, very small space. Definitely not designed as a tiny home. I don't like the idea of tiny homes, or at least living in a tiny home myself, I'd like a lot of space to actually walk around. I tried to get some space to walk here, but as you can see, let me get you a good view of actual scale here. This person, well, this is me, it's scaled to my exact body size, so I'm six foot one at 180, 200 pounds, but 
180 on here. <laughs> so yeah, you can see that a very tall person fits quite nicely in this house. Cabin, cabin. No real issue. Let me lift the roof so you can get a better idea of what I'm working with. He's out of the way. Okay. So yeah. Ooh, that's not pretty. There we go. This is everything. I hope you enjoy.